Good evening where I am, and good morning where he is. This is an Itzel game organised by Luis Basquemex against Nakruno, who's over on Pacific Time. I'm USA, I've got a few cards. We'll open 4-4-2. Because we've got counter coup options, and we could even purge if we're feeling sassy. Purge may well be our best headline. Eastern European unrest, I guess. If Italy doesn't flip. But purge does way more damage. So 442 definitely. Let's plug our cards in so we can see what we think. Lots of one-op cards, which is a bit annoying. Okay, so if we purge them, we do at least give them a hell of a headache. We've got a counter-coup card in US Japan. We have to hold Eastern European unrest. So we've only really got four clean ops then, unless we use Arab-Israeli war creatively. But what the hey, let's purge. So mean. Asia scoring drops. That's one less area to focus on. So, um, our opponent has got a very good rating on play deck. So we'll not be taking them for granted. Ha having a torrid time in the league, it looks like, based on scores. So yes, I won't be taking them for granted, certainly. So yes, st still gets a coup in. Still goes quite well for them. But we'd like to see a good counter coup here. That's a good counter coup. That leaves them with other options. Let's give them the threat of Middle East domination to deal with. Given that we know Asia scoring has dropped, they may fall for it. You never know. Something to think about at least, which is more than I could do. So they invented Vietnam Revolts. If they fill Thailand, we'll take Egypt with Arab-Israeli war to reduce the chance of Israel going off. So they, f yeah, okay, no, they don't fall for it. Such is life, we can keep filling for now. No six. Never say it. When you say it, it happens. Clumsy. Well, that's a shocker. Well, with blockade gone, we can at least now use Eastern European unrest. Uh, 
we will counter coup, largely because we now don't have access via Israel. And if it gets them all bogged down into a coup war, which we get on AR6, then we can more or less guarantee presence as domination if we get dealt Middle East scoring. So they do have to think about that. So they're left wondering, although they know we don't have Middle East scoring because we didn't drop it immediately. But it does still pose a problem they need to solve. And purged. So they've got a wee think here. Just one op for presence. So we'll now move to dominate Europe as well. Although there's many more options they have to cause trouble there. Oh, they had Middle East scoring. Well, we stung them good there. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll get Nasser out the deck and have one last coup with it. Relative success. Because we want to keep Truman for any shenanigans in Europe. So defectors is a good headline here to make sure France stays protected. If they're very sneaky, they can put Europe scoring up against it. So what's likely? Europe scoring captured Nazi scientist Suez de Gaulle, Cambridge 5. Of all of those, Defectors is the one that saddens us the most deeply. And they only know we're 50-50 for it. The other option is Containment, but we lose France if they headline to Gaulle. And we can hold decol knowing that blockade has been. They dropped UNI. So 9, 12, 15, 16. So 8 in the draw? Yeah, fine. Good. Uh, okay, defect as it is. Okay. They don't get off to space the cheap way, and we continue to maintain control in Europe for now. Truman also adds a frisson of excitement there for us. I would expect to kill in Egypt here to deny access. Yeah, 
Here it comes. Unlucky for them. So we will take Libya. And overtake Egypt because we've got uh, the gulps to spare, yeah, because they've not gone into Afghanistan. The third op's either there or Pakistan. But I think we want Egypt with NASA gone, so we'll do it. Because they have to sink ops in a relative loss leader there. Whereas it's only two for them to take Iraq and so on. But as soon as they play into Lao or Afghanistan, we have to start wandering over as it were we'll keep hold of Truman and we're holding decal for next turn yeah wow Suez of course is actually devastating here because it will deny domination I can't with no four up cards, I can't replay. So I'd rather them focus on the Middle East here, rather than race us in Asia. So that I have time to snag a non battleground. And they snag non battlegrounds instead. So now we will threaten our advance in Europe. Whilst. No, we don't use Comic Con then because, of course, they can. Yep, so we threaten our advance in Asia now while they're focusing over there. I think that's all right. That, I don't know. That, that gambit wasn't as good as I hoped it would be. Blocking off um, in Greece was quite clever, and it suggests I mistimed things. Well, yep, yeah, so we'll um, overprotect France, I guess. All of that makes... Yeah. Uh, no, we'll put one in Canada, because we've got Truman Doctrine. So if they take Turkey, we just stay a nose ahead. They now have to really move into Afghanistan or Lao to start pressurising those. Yeah, fine, fine. So we go... One, two, three, and give them the choice of trying to race in Asia or move into Burma. So let's see, they've got duck and, uh, the US guards, the duck and cover, five year plan, Marshall plan, and NATO. So they could, of course, five year plan Europe scoring, no problem. And then the nasty red cards, Warsaw, Fidel, D Style, Suez, De Gaulle, Romanian abdication. So of course we want to see we ideally want to see D Style in our hand next turn. We don't want to see Romanian abdication before it, although we've not been dealt it. 
Suez and de Gaulle are problematic. So if they use Comic-Con to... go like Czechoslovakia, Hungary, Romania and then use the China card I guess because or NATO China card or NATO which they would have used for the coup I suppose they can still level up Europe it's a very very roundabout way of me saying they could still level up Europe here fairly handily but such is life They do not, which suggests they're going to five-year plan it. This strongly suggests they're going to five-year plan it. Okay, so we're going to have a... Uh, we don't really want the Korean War gamble, do we? We'll event socialist governments. Leave them guessing. Then we'll use the gas to fill up India. do so now they have to fill up Korea with the China card with the Korean War unseen They want Fidel. That's bold when CIA has not been removed. Uh, I'm going to space Korean War. There's part of me that says you could event and remove it. And because I didn't get the money from space, I feel it twice as strongly. So five-year plan Europe here seems like the likeliest gambit rather than a very late in the day Fidel. Fidel de Gaulle. The French Fidel. So India is super vulnerable to Indo-Pakistani war. And I have no chalk card to tap Thailand, which they've left juicily open. So in a, in a way, all of that's rather foolish. Okay, well, a late D-style is also a good way to finish the round. So we will use Truman Doctrine to overprotect France against de Gaulle, making them having to use a four op card to flip France. And we hope we get dealt de Gaulle. We do not. That is bad. So we use Purge so they can't fill it and then we can de Gaulle it. Uh, de Gaulle it, Truman it, yeah? I guess that's probably the best option. Double purge, nasty. And Truman came right back. How funny. 
Europe scoring. Warsaw. Romanian app. Olympic Games. So they got duck and cover and five-year plan. So if they've got Middle East scoring, we can forget it. NATO, which of course is now moderately unplayable. Suez and De Gaulle, double, double threat. We need to have Warsaw Pact against Blockade. They've got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of ops. So, duck and cover, five-year plan, NATO, Suez de Gaulle. So Suez is an option. De Gaulle a likelier one, because then they think they can convert with NATO. But we can purge them. And then Truman them. So let's, let's do that. Let's purge them. Second purge in three turns. I am a heartless monster. But it's the monster I've become. And then we have to race. Oh, CIA, splendid. I mean, in a way, that's a good thing for us. Defectors, Indo-Pakistani war. Okay, so they're definitely going for Indo-Pakistani war this turn. Uh, I see their problem with five-year plan. They have to space duck and cover, yeah? Okay, well, let's coup on Angola, our best bet. That's fine. If Indo-Pakistani war succeeds for them, we'll need to fill in the battlegrounds in the southeast and take some risks. Second purge is no fun, though. I'm hoping that will count against them heavily. And no blockade, so we can use Warsaw Pact for ops. Perfect information, if only for a moment. South America, of course, is a big problem for us. But let's hope we can make sufficient problems elsewhere on the board. And we can also hope they forget about Thailand. As that's been sitting moderately unprotected for some time. What looked like a nice rich hand for them. 3, 6, 10, 12, 14, 17, 20 op points in hand. Plus the China card. Is at least now only 14 ops points. Plus the China card. So... A productive turn to purge. So one op, sensible place to start. We will space decal because we want to try and get to the space spot before them. And we do, that is fine for us. 
and we know we still have time to deal with Europe because we know they have to space duck and cover well unless they plan to hold five year plan and duck and cover but that doesn't seem a good way to start your mid war frame for a miss it's a miss commis uh, so no oh, actually no Korean war So we will take South Korea and Taiwan first. Uh, or are we? Because we've always got Japan in the back. We'll take Europe before de Gaulle and Suez cause trouble. This may be the wrong way around, but I don't want to... I don't want to run the risk of missing on Europe scoring, which would be so embarrassing. It doesn't matter anyway. So now we take South Korea and prepare to take Taiwan after. Continue to apply pressure. Hopefully they'll now feel compelled to do something in Asia in case we're holding Asia scoring. I suspect we'll see a hold of duck, uh, five year plan to throw in a nasty scoring card turn four. We'll cover Taiwan in South Korea. With foremost a resolution that also buys us three all another way if they flip South Korea. And then lamentably we're left with not a great deal afterwards. So we'll probably remain in application into Zaire. And we have to do something to deal with South America. But going into late war, mid war apologies. Going into mid war at plus five is pretty great. So I will not complain at all. And the fact that levels up Europe doesn't matter. So, dropping South America scoring and praying they don't have have Hunter is probably our best line here. Or is it? We could steal the China card. We're going to get an opportunity to drop scoring cards relatively quickly. And dropping them in the headline is dicey. And OPEC, current 
be worth a single VP. So I'm in a no oh, two VP. Blech. Might space it. Don't really want to space in. I want them to space first so we can one small step leapfrog them. Both headlines are vulnerable to getting blown out with defectors gone by decol or a oh, decol went to space. And okay, Africa in the headline because we're likely to get blown out by coups there. Followed by South America scoring. Yeah. What's the worst gap in Africa? ABM treaty doesn't give them presents. Russia, no, no, no. I think, hey, okay, we'll drop Africa in the headline and be risk averse. Uh, also being risk averse, I see. Ditch all the scoring cards. 2vp, 3vp for that, because I was without presence. This now gives them a dilemma about where they think they want to coup. They may still want to go for Panama. Egypt's another option. Have to hold OPEC for blockade. Blockade did not go in early war. Must not forget about blockade, What, like I always do. I need to post it on my screen or something whenever blockade doesn't go early, because I swear it always gets me. Panama or Egypt? Egypt. Very successful Egypt coup. Gosh. So we will... We event Sadat, we get domination back, and then we can always use Camp David to keep the pressure up. They need to use a three op card to retake Egypt. So let's do that. We still want to ditch South America so rather than not walk into Uruguay. Hoping we can keep them busy in the Middle East temporarily. Giving us the China card. Where are you going? Egypt? Yeah. Okay, so we'll event Camp David. And now if they take Egypt, we can move to Saudi. Of course, if they take Egypt and Saudi, we have got a bit of a dilemma. One influence. So we'll take Saudi. Forcing them to use a four-op card. If they've got a Muslim revolution here, then chapeau because they have been leading us a dance in the Middle East. They can now get the seven op blowout. Or the four op remove presence. To that end, I might move to Tunisia fairly promptly. They may still be looking to five year plan it away. It's just if they've got Middle East and Asia scoring, then they've got too much to deal with. VOA going off to space succeeds, so we event one small step. We are now running out of action rounds very fast. Um, and we still have to ditch South America. OPEC's now worth three, so we're very happy to space or blockade it. Ooh, self-poping. Please not Uruguay. Good. Got greedy. 
punished. So, thoughts here. There's part of me that says we could jam Thailand and then steal the China card back with Nixon. That's one way to get access. So we know they've got five year plans still. So the problem with jamming Thailand is one, two, three, four, five goes to three, three. It's very easy for them to resettle it. We are better off eating the Southeast Asia cost and jamming North Korea instead. That looks like fun. Because we can convert that with Nixon or take the China card back. Whip scoring card? Oh, OAS, okay. So yeah, we go Argentina, because we need access. And they should go Chile. That seems dicey, I'd have kept five year plan for Middle East or Asia. South America's been scored. Not sure I like ditching that one up card. I think I just eat it with the Americas scored. So Muslim revolution is an absolute blowout for us. We need to steer clear of that. If they push North Korea, they do. We'll take the China card back then. Because now they have a choice of two things in the headline. Yeah, I'm not sure that's best, but I'm doing it. Now they don't have a choice of two things in the headline because we're going to grain sales them. Ooh, lots of one-op cards. But we can blockade one away. We're going to get Quagged or Muslim Revolution. Hunter, okay. Colonial rear guards. Uh, sad. Given there's no DEFCON suicide risk, we could return it. Let's return it. Unorthodox, I know. And we'll coup Brazil. Oh, that went badly. Not sure that's best. Sometimes it's better just to use the cards that you get. They'll now get a chance to write North Korea as well, of course, but we're still ahead in battlegrounds. So two in Chile and a speculative realign. Probably best here. It's 
We'll event Che and then move into Paraguay. Miss. Please miss. Oh, you never miss. Good work. That's, uh, that's pretty just. Need to play into Tunisia, like I said. Ahead of Muslim Revolution dropping. Well poised. So they've got plenty of ops. Let's see what they did, because I was busy talking to chat. We will bury you, redressed North Korea, and pressed South Africa. Both fine things to do. We resolve Che first. You ain't got nowhere to hit. We'll go Angola, Zaire. The reason not to go Tunisia is it does actually provide a military op target. Which we'd like to avoid for the moment. Now we don't need to worry about South Africa so much because... Yeah, let's overprotect Angola. We know that much. And over Tech Zaire. We will go to Tunisia. If they want to take a turn cooing on Tunisia, that's their loss. And we know they've got colonial rear guards. So we're blockading away OPEC, spacing socialist governments. Three, four, five. Oh, Two, three, four, five, six. So we do need to use the China card if we're not spacing culture revolution. Spacing culture revolution and keeping the China card is all right, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. But we have to event and repair socialist governments. Ah, there it is. Glad I played into Tunisia. So we will now use the China card. Yeah, yeah. Because they now need a four-up card. Ah, it's an opportunity for them to oh, let's think about it. They would need a 4-op card at this point. ABM nuclear test ban or US-Japan. Well, they'd hate to use ABM on it. So nuclear test ban's the only one I kind of bless you 
fear. So let's tap Egypt. If they take Saudi, we flip Egypt and then race for Israel, I guess. Not sure about that. In the end, glad I played in Tunisia because otherwise that would have been a clean sweep. Did enough to dissuade them on that. Okay, they can't take both, but they can cause trouble in both. Trouble in paradise. So let's just keep tapping. Um, yeah. I see the way this is going. I am going to eventually run out of steam, aren't I? But we'll keep tapping away. Okay, that's all three China card stealing cards gone. They only need three ops to turn things around. Hmm. Blech. Middle East is now not looking so good. I probably should have just put two in Saudi. No, oh, we would have ended up with a four up race I couldn't catch up with anyway. I don't know. It's tough. What do we think? We could... We'll tap OPEC and put one in Israel so we can at least put three ops at the end of the turn into Israel and level it up. No, I don't like anything about this. No, we'll blockade away OPEC. Oh, that's rubbish too. We're on AR4. Hmm. Man, everything about this stinks. Let's event socialist governments and see if we can redistribute some wealth. That will do. They don't have access to Portugal, so we're sufficiently overprotected. We can redistribute some wealth, potentially. Yeah, so we cover France, which we must. And then we'll put two more into Saudi. Ugh. Yeah, right. Force them to have a three-op card. They just use Willy Brand. And now we probably will use OPEC for three VP to take Saudi to retake domination if it comes to that. But this is... Uh, I think it's getting needlessly heated in the Middle East here. If they just, I mean, they only just drop Middle East scoring here, which would be fine. Did 
Gola is in the discard pile, as is Suez. So at least there's no crazy shenanigans. Okay, we will blockade away OPEC. Because I really feel like they're running out of steam here. We might get the AR7 Brezhnev. We're not going to get off to space this turn, kind of frustratingly. We need to keep Brezhnev to the end, of course, in case we get quagged. We need to use a one-op card next turn. We are ourselves running low on ops. Puppet governments for influence, that's all right. That's sensible. So what do we like? One either side of Cuba and realign? No, Nigeria... Oh, we've got three influence, don't we? I think it has to be Nigeria, Peru. And then we'll go Botswana, converting it, which threatens the rear line on South Africa. So they will probably be desperate not to space this turn, lest they find themselves locked out of Africa. But Middle East has turned sour on us again. Southeast Asia is gross. Asia's pretty fine. Middle East is now. Might make a cause for filling up Saudi if they don't act on it because we can at least. Guarantee domination in the headline, barring an unsuccessful brush war. Or. Oh, they had ABM all along. Savvy. Flipping Angola, not shabby. Okay, so now the rear line's off, we'll retake Saudi. We don't get the scoring cards, but we do get Quagmire, and we get Shuttle Diplomacy, which actually comes into play in both regions. So I think I like Shuttle Diplomacy as the headline here. It's only trading 3vp for a... Uh, it's three ops for an an. Uh, it's three ops for a VP in Asia, but it's domination in the Middle East if they don't drastically wipe me out there. Flower power. Panama. Who's Japan? Liberation theology. I'd like space, and it makes me glad that I didn't. Space earlier. Oh, if I'd have spaced OPEC and succeeded, Liberation Theology would have stuck it stuck in my hand. That's seven. What am I missing? Quag my nope. Arms race. Yep. So brush wall's a problem, still. Truman, Flower Power, Panama Arms, Libthy, US Japan, Formosa, Quag my that's the nine. So, Shuttle Diplomacy, if they miss the us, we give them Flower Power. We've got no war cards. And Shuttle Diplomacy promises to be our friend in country count if they try and nobble us in the Middle East. There it is. So they know we have to use Missile MV on our AR-1. So they're looking to do something that takes three ops to repair.
But it strikes me that a coup on Iran or Libya is most likely. Iran is better for them in the long run because it softens up Pakistan for Indo-Pakistani war. We're starting to see... So Brush War is still the most frightening unseen card. Salt's problematic, of course. Otherwise, U2 incident, Arab-Israeli war, Cambridge 5, Portuguese Empire crumbles, Korean war and IN day. Korean war is a good reason to fill in Japan sooner. But it strikes me as an unscored region, Iran or Libya looks like it's going to be the coup region. Here it comes. No, continuing to work up Africa. I can live with that. We've got some time to deal with Africa. So I like popping another two in Israel and seeing if we can get to the scoring card first. Yeah, they just give up on the Middle East, that's wise. That is fine for us, so we will look to see to space first. Do we, or do we? Now what we'll do is we'll fill Japan against Korean War, even though that becomes a free op card later on, a free operations point card later on. And for fear of brush war, we'll move into Costa Rica. So it looks like we're holding Korkmaier. Southeast Asia scoring, of course, is good for them. So they'll be happy to drop it. They've got all the scoring cards this turn. So now we space liberation theology. And we get to headline peak, which is very nice. Good time to use CNS, even for zero VP. So we will event Panama Canal returned. Yeah, we don't have a coup target, do we? No. Yeah, we can wait to do that, I suppose. Let us re-protect France against a belated de Gaulle. Pop one in Tunisia to make Angola more realignable. And we'll pop one in Sudan to start threatening country count in Africa. Is that best? That's fine. I'm not sure that's great, but let's not let's not dwell. So in the reshuffle, South America is an absolute disaster for us. Oh, I do need to reclaim some territories in Europe to start putting pressure on again, don't I? Please miss. There will be peaking. Ooh, okay. We will event Panama Canal return now. We now don't know the contents of their hand, but we know that Brush War and Salt are both very worrying.
Good, Korean War isn't going to be threatened. They just go in for overprotection. Which now means I can be more circumspect about my Formosa use. So I will re-dominate Europe with Formosa instead. So Cambridge 5 and Ien Day are the last two really nasty red cards and Brush War is a problematic in the deck sticker. 17 unseen, 4, 10, 18. What have I missed? Mug. Lads went, didn't it? Yeah, that's the one. There we go. Tracker is still not a mess. Hmm. Yes, I could do with a good old 50-50 brush roll in Venezuela, couldn't I? Things are nicely poised. There. Yeah. Big salt coming. That's the time to do it. Oh, and a sort of Muslim Rev is very nice. Here's praying I get defectors in the reshuffle. Well, let's put one in Jordan to keep... Oh, no, country count's going to flip anyway with Saudi and Egypt. Saudi going. What do we think? What do we think? We'll overprotect France again. Blech. No good choices. Oh, DEFCON's four. Woof. Wait a minute. I will use my one-op card to coup Nigeria. It misses. Uh, but we do get brush war, which is nice. So quagmire, Arab Israeli, Armitz, brush, Iende. Nuclear test ban, Asia scoring. Special relationship with NATO in play, kitchen debates. It's cool, so special relationship's worth two VP, kitchen debates worth nada. We get to headline peak, so we can always drop Asia scoring for six Smackaroos. And we'll be seeking to space Korgmire. The reshuffle's been. So we could omit this turn. Defcon is of course four. Another reason to drop Asia before they get a coup. Let's see, oh, it's, it's never a better time to be headline peaking, let's put it that way. We know they've got U2 Incident and Cambridge 5. Another reason if they headline Cambridge 5 to play Asia scoring. UN Intervention. Alliance for Progress, Bear Trap, Ask Not, Nuclear Subs and Containment. So we know their full hand. Yep, 42 in the discard, 42 in the draw, yep. Muslim Rev comes, so we Asia score. Yep. No option. Saudi goes. And I guess Iran? Maybe Egypt, just to make damn sure it can't flip. But we will make use of Brush War. We know they don't have a scoring card, of course. So that's an advantage, too. We could Brush War on Venezuela late in the turn. Or even potentially omit and try and bink it. But it's not a done deal. All right. Are they still going to have a cool on Pakistan? Yeah. Unlucky. So there's part of me that says, have another coup. And we've got the China card back, let's not forget. Ooh, Africa control.
We'll do that so I can flip Nigeria with a four op card if they Kuzaya. Not sure that's right, but it's what I've done. And we still know the exact contents of their hand. We're definitely looking to event special relationship. And we're looking to space Quagmire. They will probably event nuclear subs at the end of the turn. They may space ask not. One VP for alliance. Do you Kuzaya? You do. Okay, so we shall. Uh, well, I don't know, we've still got time, haven't we? How greedy is greedy? So many gambits, all of them not always nice. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, what a pickle this is. Mm, they're going to event nuclear subs later in the turn, almost certainly, right? So we don't need to worry about... Nigeria just yet. So let's level up the Middle East to start. Because they have to space bear trap, really, right? Unless they self trap, and I'm down with them doing that. And they are going to get to ask not, so we can also throw away A and D and Quagmire. The brush has to be Venezuela, right? Yeah. And then nuclear subs comes later. So we want to put one in Peru. So if we could also get a coup off on Argentina, we could realign Peru. Chile. Blech. Cambridge 5. Overprotect. Yep, fine. So let's space Quagmire. Great. Well done, NASA. Every point counts now. So spacing nuclear subs, missing, means we continue to peak and they might self-trap, which is good for us. Do we brush war now? Uh, we're in no hurry, right? We can special relationship first. Yeah. Before they do something. Not that they can, we know their, their entire hand. Bear trap, ask not, U2, containment, UNI. UNI bear trap, finish with containment, forcing them to play ask not, we can ditch Allende. I think we want to we wanna event emit before the end of the turn now to see if we can bink Africa and South America scoring. If we can get those out of the deck. That is not shabby. Turkey is probably a bit greedy there. I probably should have overprotected France with Suez and de Gaulle coming back. But I should have some ops spare at the end of the turn, actually. That's a reason to start eventing now, knowing they're going to contain at some point, quite likely. But yeah, the board is not great. We need Brushwater to succeed, really, to have any semblance of hope. Basically, Brushwater to succeed or South America and Africa to get pulled by our, our man. Who's going to look at only an eighth of the deck. So the chances of both scoring cards being in the eighth of the deck we look at, slim to none. If we can pull Lone Gunman, though, that's not so bad. Plus, we do have sneaky realigns on Algeria at the moment. So, bear trap? Yeah, had to be right. 
Retaking Turkey doesn't do a lot for you there, I don't think. So we will event Brush War. Oh, giving up two VPs, but that's flower power for you. Come on. Boo. Now we really want Amit to find one of those. Thank goodness for headline peaking. We're going to need to look at a lot of headlines. It's going to take a lot of fireworks to clean this room up. So late war is going to come down to scoring card timing. If we can snag war games before Africa and South America come out, great. If not, it's probably a scramble for final scoring. Or worst case scenario, Defcon suicide or Africa and South America score and we are hung out to dry. Okay, that's fine, right? We'll event emit. Oh, <laughs> oh boy, I want four of those. Poor sod. That's harsh. That's so harsh. So Che goes, Africa goes, South America goes, and one small step goes. Oh boy. You poor, poor person. I have frigged up my so South Africa, Africa, one small step, and Che, and whatever's been played this turn. Is your sorry, I forgot to re-add the discards before adding more nuclear subs is gone. Special relationship. Bear trap. And it might be important. Arab Israeli war. Cambridge five. Che Quagmire. U two. Musrev. UNI. One small step. Brush and nuclear test bound. 16 in the discard pile, plus whatever I've done. Yeah, I'm done discarding those. Okay, so... I think we ditch both and we hope not to draw two scoring cards ourselves, having just seen the improbable. There's only four scoring cards. We got neither of them. Okay. Um, I got Suez and Socialist. So we event socialist governments and we repair Pakistan. That was absolutely heinous in terms of removals. They're all fine. Uh, France and Portugal, yeah. Oh boy, the goal is a problem. So we're going to hedge our bets. Okay, grain sales is a fine headline. So is Cal. We've got Aldrich Ames, so we can chuck away something. We've got Europe scoring. We can play with relative impunity here. We got a decent hand here. Continuing the heartache for our opponent.
All right, we'll see what their headline is. Um, Cal will enable us to play some surplus ops anyway. And reduce DEFCON to prevent a coup. AWACS will briefly tap Saudi for domination. So if they headline Middle East scoring, we can AWACS. We can go Cal into attempted Europe domination using East European unrest. And we can use Grain to steal a card if we fancy as well. So this is one of the rare occasions where I think we want to go Cal first, knowing we guarantee dropping Defcon and we can steal a card with Grain later on. Man, that was brutal. Okay, Marine Barracks bombing is bad. But we can use Cal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Threat and domination in Europe which means they then can't do what they were hoping to do with Marine Barracks bombing. Probably not ideal. We will at least always have a Bastion in Israel even if Middle East scoring swings to their domination. We want to Aldrich away Liberation Theology and try and space Suez, right? That's definitely the right line. Space Suez, Aldrich to ditch Libthy. There's even part of me that thinks maybe you want to event liberation theology and hold Aldrich so you can throw away something like Lone Gunman. Which increasingly looks like a bigger threat. Yeah. Reagan bombs if it does nothing. You take. Okay, so we'll drop Europe scoring. If they've got CIA and Grain doesn't pull it, we may get them in DEFCON suicide here anyway. Got a space Star Wars, no doubt there. Peking does not end. It does not end for them. We'll space Suez. NASA also lets us down. Of course, if we want a Grain sales, we want to do it sooner rather than later to minimize the chance of us pulling CIA ourselves. So if they have duck and cover, tear down this wall. Oh, CIA is gone. I'm an idiot. Yeah. Blah. So tear down this wall and duck and cover are the ways they can end themselves. Um, I don't want to discard Aldrich James, I don't think. So yeah, you can just go mad on South America. Let's just assume that that one is yours and I'll do stuff in some other regions. Venezuela and Argentina. Because remember, if they don't tap Chile and they don't remove Peru, we can always tap it right at the last. Great, that's fine. Let's grain sales now. Which we'll take and we'll fill Mexico. So grain pulls lads. Mm. 
No, Aldrich. No, oh, boo. So now we'll take it first. And we'll go dominate Central America, no, Lebanon. Duh -duh. If we can try and race down the Middle East, that's fine. We're still looking all right. We're getting there. There's still a bit of work to be done. Yeah, so you're maximizing OPEC. Oof. One, two, three, four, five, six VP. While also entrenching the Middle East. So I need to get a coup off at some point, basically. So, Eastern European unrest. Cover Mexico and Panama. Maybe. Do we go big dirty rear lines first? If we can realign out of Algeria at plus one, now's the time. Yeah. Perfect. Now hit Cuba. I said now hit Cuba. Oh, okay. Beggars can't be choosers. We do at least put Africa control out of contention for now. So Lone Gunman stood in the deck. We need to hold the China card a bit longer. Eight action rounds, huh? It's a thought. Well, we can leave Algeria empty for now. Peru for presence. Although it does trigger them to overprotecting Chile. is the point at which those two VP might make a difference. And they need to get a coup off, or I get two VP. Pretty sure they're holding containment. Yeah, they are. Okay. Let's get our two VP. And now that terrorism and Aldrich has gone, we're not actually going to lose to... Yeah, we're not actually going to lose to Lone Gunman being in hand because they have no way of removing it. So we are now guaranteed Milops. And we can use the China card to repair Pakistan. And Liberation Theology. And if you want to use the China card to take Pakistan when we stay... Oh no, you're right, we don't. Oh no, that's fine. All is well. I can do maths. 18 VP. 2 VP in turn 9, please. All war games. 
Central America scoring, and we're headline peaking. So that is probably good game. Oh, and duck and cover. Yep, good game, good game. Tough. They were unlucky. We definitely had things go our way throughout. So, yeah. Kudos. Well fought, but... Yeah, I think... I think the wind went out of their sails. Yeah, good game. The wind went out of their sails when we omitted those two scorers. Duck and cover puts us over the top. And there goes your ball game. Oh well, that's the way that goes. Thank you for watching. I think we got a decent result there. Relatively fair, but with a, a dose of luck too, definitely. I was I was definitely lucky. So I will go and log the result, get the video up on YouTube. Thanks to um, Ada's Gupta who reminded me that I needed to try and work out how to uh, make videos last a couple of weeks up on Twitch so people don't have to go looking for them on YouTube. I now am doing that, but because I won't pay Twitch a dime, they're only up for two um, two weeks. So enjoy them while you can. Game ended in turn nine by victory points track. And today is New Year's Eve Eve. All right, thanks a lot, much obliged. Until next time. Great. Thanks again. I'll come hang out and chat for a few minutes. Adios.